Hello and welcome to the Getting Started tutorial for Sophistic Reinforcement Generation. My name is Björn Teutrina. In this tutorial you will get to know the basic tools and workflows of reinforcement generation. You will experience how easy it is to create and check 3D reinforcement in Autodesk Revit much faster than before and you will definitely enjoy working with it. We will reinforce a slab and a beam together step by step. If you want to reproduce the following steps you can download the project. Below this video in the comment you can find a link. When having completed this tutorial you will be able to generate 3D reinforcement from your structural analysis results by using Sophistic Reinforcement Generation. For an overview of the functionality of the Sophistic software please visit the website www.sophistic.com. You can even download a free trial version from the Autodesk App Store. After the installation of Sophistic Reinforcement Generation, additional tabs called Sophistic Reinforcement and Sophistic containing the related tools and controls will appear. Before we start, here is an important information. To run Sophistic Reinforcement Generation, an installation of the analysis software Sophistic and the Autodesk Structural Analysis Toolkit is required. In order to generate Reba container, Sophistic Reinforcement detailing is needed. You can find further information for this purpose in a separate video. Overall our target is to ensure the following workflow. Creating the physical model, adjusting the analytical model, applying loads and boundary conditions. As a next step we will link the model to Sophistic for analysis and design, code checking and getting results for needed reinforcement. For now I'll jump to the tutorial to generate 3D reinforcement. So let's start with this exemplary building to show you how Sophistic Reinforcement Generation works. To generate reinforcement we need design results which can be stored in a third party database or in Revit result packages. In this tutorial I'll use a Sophistic database called CDB. You should know that if you have results from other analysis software stored as Revit result packages you can use them within Sophistic Reinforcement Generation as well. First I'll quickly show you the Sophistic extension which allows you to link the Revit model to the Sophistic analysis software. As you can see I've prepared this analytical model in Revit and I've already exported, calculated and designed the entire system of this building as well as a subsystem called level 2 for the floor of the second level. For this reason we can immediately start with reinforcement generation. If you don't know how to use the Sophistic extension you can watch our tutorials which you can find in our Sophistic tutorial database. Let's switch to the sheet S5 of the floor of the second level. In the following step you will get to know how to generate and check reinforcement in this lab.